Bottom of the barrel, hey. bottom of the barrel, cause hey. the barrel is only hey. two small. <sighs> Boom. Little picture. Yeah. That's good. I think we're doing great. This is, it feels professional. I feel better. We're like further away, which is good in a, in a good way, though. In a good, yeah, social distancing. Oh, fuck. I gotta take a shot. <laughs> we don't talk about the thing here. And if you do, you drink. That's just the rules in Bob. You come to Bob to get away from it all. <laughs> if I pull you back in, you gotta drink. Yeah, that's fair. I, uh, yeah. Fair, fair, right? No, that's fair. It's fair. Um, I kind of want to mention it now. Yeah. <laughs> just eyeballing that. <laughs> like, Welcome back to Bob. Welcome back to Bottom of the Barrel. Um, oh, you guys probably all saw... Before, uh, if you're just watching this, you're just tuning in, you might be wondering, who who are these guys? Or hmm. who are these guys? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And if you are... I'm uh, a puzzle solver on YouTube. <laughs> and uh, and I get day drunk. <laughs> uh, you can go ahead and subscribe below. It really helps us out. We don't ask for anything else. We don't ask for a Patreon. We don't ask for anything. Just like, subscribe. And at the end of the show, if you liked it, we ask you to tell three friends. And that's pretty much it. Pretty sweet deal. One for each camera we have today. A little Japanese whiskey. Nice choice. Suntory. Reminds me of, um, you ever see the movie with Bill Murray? Well, uh, <laughs> can you get me more specific? No, the, the one. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Groundhog Day. N- no. Watched a lot. Um, Watch first five minutes. It just is lost in translation. Yeah, that was great. When he does the Centauri ads. Oh yeah, it's the same whiskey. Oh, I didn't put that together. Yeah, and the guy's talking to him. He's like talking to him in Japanese for like a minute, and the translator's like, he says it's fine. <laughs> and he's like, no, that's not all he said. What else did he say? <laughs> that's a f- brilliant movie. Yeah, I when I first watched it, maybe how old I was, I don't know. I was like, what the fuck is this? Yep. That I watched it again a couple years later. Yeah. And I'm like, this is an amazing. Yeah, same. I watched it for the second time, and it felt like I watched it for the first time. Yeah. And I was like, I would watch this again. Yeah, yeah exactly that. Yeah, it feels good. Yeah, I like it's kind of like uh, I might you know. give it another go. Actually, it's been long enough. I don't remember everything. So. Yeah. I'll give it another try. And uh, Scarlett Johansson. Yeah. Is it Scarlett Johansson? It is Scarlett no, Johansson. No, it's... it's um, yeah, it's Scarlett Johansson. Is it? Yeah. It's not Charlize Theron. Oh. I get those two mixed up all the time. Yeah, okay then. Uh, I believe you. Brilliant. Yeah. And it's, it's shot it's, cool too. Yeah. Yeah, It's and it's kind of in the way that it has an awkward feel to it as mm-hmm. if that's what it would really be like Yeah. going to Japan. Yeah. Rather than the Hollywood version of Japan, it's just, yeah, 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 it, it's it's really like a lot of it's unromantic and awkward yeah. because of the language barrier and the humor difference, and I really like that the way they played that out. Yeah, so if you're looking for something to do 15 years ago, check out Lost in Translation. Yeah, no spoilers. Yeah, <laughs> uh, let's get a beer. What's this? <laughs> Is this a real thing? company makes these silicone sleeves no. <laughs> and this one says holy water and that one says COVID 19 vaccine which i'll take a shot for that it's too funny not to do uh but they're crazy they just slide over top of any drink <laughs> <laughs> i thought you'd like lo- so i've talked to them about getting this all wrapped like um <laughs> doing your thumbnail later maybe i thought i talked to them about getting this wrapped like a barrel chris yes they're they're they're, they're going to be inexpensive you know, and I think it'd be a cool bottom of the barrel souvenir if you had <laughs> so good. If you had uh, a little like the barrel ones, they're reusable, washable. I think it's a fun little thing. It's not funny because we went to the beer store picking up. We picked up these big cans of beer, and he's like, "I'm just gonna go load the barrel with beers." And he pulls this out. <laughs> Where the fuck did this come from? You I don't open that. It's actually not even beer. Oh, okay. It's club soda. Oh, because I didn't have any more beer. Well, we don't want to even show this on camera. Yeah, I know. No, that was just funny gag though. For a joke, I took my shot for it. Thank you, no, appreciate it. Hilarious. I was gonna do a joke about COVID, but ninety-nine percent of people wouldn't get it. <laughs> I mean, hey, I'll take another shot for that. Fishing for beer once again. Blah. Thank you, sir. Oh, feels good. Can't yeah. Forget to pour these. Oh, can't forget to pour these into our oh, steins. Naturally. Buddy, these things are great. Dude, I picked this beer today. Uh, toupee, uh, but it's got a top. It reminded me of Inception. So oh, I was like, one neat. Of those spinny tops. A little spinny. You can show it to that camera, actually. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just showing you, Chris. Up. I got La Berubiere, La Cabo, Le Trois Pistoles. Oh, shit. 
This is like a six and a half percenter, which I, I don't know why. I just, if it gets past six, I'm like, do we really need that? Oh my God, this is a sloppy pour. Mm -hmm. All right. The good thing about this, the, you, these mugs are so fucking huge that you can pour a sloppy pour and it'll still be fine. No, my, I was, mine was so bad it was maxed out. Fine, yeah. Mine was good. What did I get here? I was a, a blonde diarrhea, like a golden blonde. Blonde diarrhea is what I heard. Look at that. Hey, let's get to the bottom of it, Wes Barker. Cheers, buddy. <laughs> We're really far away now. Like <laughs> oh, yeah. That was all foam. I just said mm. all foam. But but out of the sign, <laughs> so much so good. So much better. More. Bring me another. Hey, before we get into things that we have prepared, yeah. Um, there's a there's a really cool anecdote. A really cool, like I like conspiracy theories, obviously, mm -hmm. but I like the ones that are kind of uh, just fantastic, and they're. Obviously, you're like, there's no truth to that, but what a coincidence, what a... Yeah. So, do you know the Shakespeare conspiracy? That it, it he stole all the work from some other guy, right? Okay, maybe not that one. Oh, okay. But that's maybe... Yeah, that's he, maybe he stole good a lot of it. I believe that. Ripped it off. So, have you ever um, seen Anne Hathaway's husband? Okay, no. You, you know Anne Hathaway, right? The actress? Oh, buddy. I know Anne Hathaway. She's, You've shown your titties on screen. I know who you are, hundred <laughs> percent. Yeah, she's she's gorgeous. Yeah. Um, but her husband, dude, check this, out. this is this is and get the clapper ready. The, all hang on, Anne Hathaway though. If if you if you needed a reason to watch Brokeback Mountain, watch it just for her. I mean, you got to sit through some other stuff, but buddies. Um, so Anne Hathaway's husband. Looks like William Shakespeare. Great. It gets better. So look at the picture here. It's eerily, Whoa. he's eerily similar. Hang on. We're going to throw that in there. That is really weird. Eerily similar to Shakespeare, right? Any any relation? Like, is it his great, great granddad? Well, here's the thing. Shakespeare's wife, guess what her name was? Anne. Anne Hathaway. Anne ha Really? Yeah. That's cool. I'm into this. And before he died... No. He said to his wife, no. I loved you in this life and I <laughs> love you in the next. Shut the fuck up. Yeah. That is good. Right? I'm sold. Yeah. And dude, obviously she's coming back and now she's like, it's my turn to shine, motherfucker. <laughs> right? She, old Shakespeare had it earlier, so this time Anne Hathaway's getting her spotlight. Even the uh, pronounced uh, jaw, like the bottom part of his face is like identical. His Chris eyes are so obviously. jealous about a good jaw because he has no jaw. No, it's, but it's the same. It is the same. Yeah. It's really, that's really good. That's a complete conspiracy I mean, in my book I, from A to we, Z. We got this picture up here. You guys can see it. If you don't believe it, I mean, you're The not. fact look that at, his wife again. was Anne Hathaway. That's too good. And that he said, I loved you in this life and I'll love you in the next to his wife before she died. Before he died. Also. Before he killed her. Kudos to old Billy <laughs> Shakespeare. <kidding>. Yeah. <laughs> but like, I, I, who's saying that to their wife? Mm. Like, even the most religious of people are like, till death do us part. Like they're like no, he's yeah. like I'll be reincarnated. We'll call, like, we'll, call, we'll call it quits at death. Yeah, we'll no. try again. Yeah. Like you he's know? like I love you in the next. <laughs> People are always like, oh, grandma's gonna be with grandpa now. It's like <laughs> leave no, him give alone. Me a fucking break. They they went. They parted yeah. ways. I do not expect Kristen to follow me to Valhalla after this. It's all good. Yeah, she can go find another D if she wants. Yeah, like, or another deity. A good run. Yeah, believe in another god. Go to a different paradise. <laughs> Imagine if that's how it worked at the end. And they're like, you go up and you're like in a big white Just room. Choose. And they're like, so what God did you believe in? <laughs> yeah. And you're like, none. You're like, oh, like Ooh, you should have picked something. You should have really picked something. There you go. And somebody's going out to Valhalla and like, Later, man. Yeah. Oh, this is awesome. I'm just over here in the corner with Christopher Hitchens, smoking and drinking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're like, oh, well, yeah. Should have picked something. Yeah. Neil deGrasse Tyson just <laughs> talking to himself. <laughs> He's himself. like, this isn't actually where heaven is. It's uh, yeah. much further than this. And I uh, know yeah. I've seen. No, yeah, they, I don't believe in them. Yeah, they haven't quite gone this far. I don't believe in those guys. Actually, it's uh, they weren't quite reaching the yeah. gates. It, uh, they're not made of pearl. You're like, what the fuck? Shut up, Neil. <laughs> I would rather listen to Neil Patrick Harris talk to me about space and Neil deGrasse Tyson. Yes. Get your Neil sorted. Fuck off. Yeah. I would rather listen to Neil Armstrong in that case. <laughs> We're going there. Kneel down and kiss my ears. Yeah. Um, oh, something that, not to jump off topic here, but something that they, they would have seen, but you haven't seen this yet. This is a new intro. Because why not? To what? To the Bobs. What? Yeah. Who? It, who made this? A Fiverr. You I, got this done? I had, I had up a guy on Fiverr. <gasps> 
And I was like, hey, man. Wes, you know how much I love surprises. Yeah, right? Surprises are the best. So I hit up this guy on Fiverr. And in fact, actually, you guys will all have seen it maybe on the last podcast because that one's just being edited right now. So maybe it's already up. I don't know. But Chris hasn't seen it. And it was so good because I was like, oh, let's hit up this guy on Fiverr. And uh, and I'm trying to explain, you know, the podcast. And he hits me back. He's like, he's like I already know who you guys are. I'm, I've been into magic for a long time. Get out of here. And I'm like, oh, he's like, so I got the vibe. I got the vibe. Don't just say no more. Let me run with it and see what happens. So it's pretty cool. It's a little 14 second. A little animation. <laughs> it's just cute little. <laughs> it's fun. Yo. It's super fun. That is the that is the best thing I've seen all day. Isn't it great? Yeah. It, 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 he got us know, really well. Buddy, I was we were just talking about King of the Hill. Yeah. That's the vibe. And that exactly yeah. is the King of the Hill vibe. Yeah. And he's like, oh, have you guys like jumping in a barrel hell? and uh, yeah. oh. cheers? And I was like, yeah, sure, man. Nothing better. Yeah, it's perfect. Suits it. Wow. I'm really excited. So shout out to, I can't remember your name. But I'll that? share it on Instagram for sure. I'll, if, if you're just listening, I'll share it on Instagram. And uh, I'll share Buddy's name on it so you guys can check out more of his work. Can you just airdrop me? Yeah, for sure. I have it's, it I have it here. I'll, I'll grab it. It's the perfect vibe. He nailed us so well. Yeah, I thought so too. I was like, wow, dude. I gave him like one correction. And the only correction hurt my heart because I was like, can you make Chris a little taller than me or else it looks weird? Oh. We were like the exact same height. Yeah. And I was like, just, it looks weird. <laughs> he's like, yeah. At least you got the orientation, right? Yeah. His, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, on wow. The side of the barrel. That's true. It'd be weird if we were not. Yeah. I didn't even we were setting that. this place up and we were even saying and like. He, he gave us mugs to cheers from. We yep. just got the mugs. We just got the mugs. He must watch the podcast. He must. Uh, Carlito94. I don't know if that's his Instagram or whatever. I'm throwing up his Instagram on here for sure. So uh, Fuck yeah, check that this guy, guy out. out. Maybe he's, he, this is the style he does stuff in. Love and it. he has a guy. like I found it uh, on Fiverr. He had like a guy like dunking a basketball. Yeah. And that locked me in. Oh, yeah. Right? And I was like, I like the animation. I'm like, all right, okay, let's go. It's fucking awesome, man. And the I fact that he that. knew who we were, I was like, wow, fuck, here's a Blown tip. away. 20%. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we're gonna, we're gonna work on the banner next. I'm yeah. I'm working on that. Yeah, we got. Look, we're we're really moving this up. We're gonna have guests come up. Oh yeah, we're, we got we're, we've put some feelers out. We put so. some feelers out. Uh, West has been cold calling a lot of people, and which is how you do it. Yeah, and, you you ask the less famous of the two people to to reach out because that definitely is gonna get the most response. Hey, if you can do it, <laughs> I can do it. It's an inspiring. <laughs> it's an inspiring story. <laughs> yeah. I can see these people see my message. Clicking on to see how many followers I have. I'm going, yeah, oh, who's he friends with? Oh, okay. <laughs> I wish they uh, do that. No, but yeah, that's the way to do it, man. Yeah. And you're getting some good answers back yep. by some pretty big names. Yep. Uh, so I think this is going to be a success. And and the fact so. that we're sitting up, we're setting up multi cam right now, guys. Yeah. Multi camera. We've done it. We made it. So when we bring a guest in here, where do we put them? Do we space it out? Put well, them in the middle? Because we're thinking about getting more of this yeah, sort of backdrop. Be bar because right, the barrel's going to be bigger. Yeah, because right now you're seeing like be, like beyond the barrel. Oh, it broke the illusion. It broke the illusion. So we need more backdrop. And then we could just have somebody sit. Um, we could put them in the middle and go. Yeah, yeah. A little semicircle. Sure. Something like that. Yeah, we'll figure just it out. <laughs> be, like, be like a really weird. It'd be like this the whole time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good luck. You, you know Artie's going to clip that, right? What you just said. <laughs> <laughs> I just saw a podcast summary. So we put up these stupid, we put up these, okay, Arthur, who edits these videos, shout out to Artie. Um, he puts together these amazing summaries of the podcast, which are completely ridiculous and silly and make no sense. So and good. watching it out of context is a fucking nightmare. Uh, it feels like you've taken, you know, just a little too much LSD and ate some fucking chocolate before bed yeah. it's a really weird uh thing to watch but it's so funny mm -hmm. and here's one here's the latest one with eric if you haven't watched uh the last podcast with eric check this one out let's get to the bottom of this yes mm. Mm. see i think i don't know the bob sign feels good your fucking thighs look good thanks baby yeah man. thanks man mm. see i'm awkward right away now why because i got a little quiet yeah Crystal meth will lift you up until you break, you won't stop mm. doing, yeah. Sammy Chum kind of life, baby, baby, I want something else to get me through this. Sammy Chum kind of life. Yeah, no, it's good, man. We had a great podcast. I'm good. I think we're not I, done. Let's I go. Let's keep going. Bob. Let's go to another half hour. Great Bob. But uh, I didn't do anything wrong. That's it? Yeah, yeah. That's really fucked up, man. Down in the barrel, there's a naked man. 
Uh, actually, that was the one before, but whatever. Insert whatever <laughs> summary. And if you guys are following us on uh, Instagram at Podcast in the Barrel, yep. you can go ahead and check these out. We post them once a week, and they're little summaries. Oh, and, man. Yeah. They're, so, our, they're so funny. They make our, me laugh every time. He oh, doesn't, same. He doesn't clear it with anybody. He just goes and sits through it all. God bless him. Yeah. And he cuts it up, and then they're, I, I, I fucking laugh every time. Yeah. They're way funnier if you know the podcast. If you don't know and you just find them, you're like, what is this yeah. podcast? Yeah, you <laughs> might want to watch it. Also, I love. Just yeah. carry on with that. Um, yeah, Artie's doing a great job, and he's going to start editing clips. I know a lot of uh, the comments have been asking about clips, and yes, when right. are we going to put clips up? So every week you get about two, three Bob clips yeah. on this channel, so you don't have to go anywhere else, and you can just watch those if you're uh, pressed for time. Yeah, or if you're like, if you're if you are telling three friends about it, and they're like, "What is it?" Mm, Pick a clip, call. send it to them, be like, "It's like this, yeah. but longer." Yeah, <laughs> increases our chances of going viral. Yeah. Exactly. Put more content out there. We're taking the Julius Dean route. Yep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> really. Hey, I learned a lot. Yeah. Let's go. Three minute clips. Give them to me. I feel like we're so far apart. Yeah. I mean, in the barrel, I, like on the on the wide. Yeah. We're not going to use the wide a lot, though. I feel. Yeah. I mean, I hope. I don't know. Who cares? If we don't use it, then it's kind of weird because then it's just definitely no need for this. Yeah. I know we will use it. <laughs> oh man, I'm feeling good right now. I love it, dude. And we have a lot of. Uh, a lot of questions. I asked for some questions on in the community part of YouTube for mm-hmm. our, our podcast. We have a ton of questions. I would love to go through some of those today. What's uh, What are we looking at here? We're at, we're at like a 15, 16. Let's go. Yeah, but well, or, or do you want to talk about your live stream? You just you, This guy's yeah. been working all fucking day long. Yep. All day, all weekend. And all yeah, last week we were doing that. Uh, you had a whole prepping. team. Chris has a team that works here, but then he's like, no, you guys aren't good enough. <laughs> I guess is what he said right to their faces. You're not talented enough. He brought in another team. Yeah. Is that what happened? Is that yeah. what I'm telling the story right? Pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> he yeah. said, you guys sit this one out. Yeah. Day off, full pay. And then you got yeah. other guys in to actually shoot it properly. Yeah. They had uh, they brought in C300s, which are really crazy cinema cameras uh, that can, you know, uh, film for longer than half an hour. So you're not busy shutting on and off the camera like we were on Bob. Those True. things film for hours, right? So. We had those. Um, you get one of those. Yeah, get three. <laughs> and uh, the, yeah, they brought in their whole thing. They were the ones who actually set up um, just everything, the live stream in terms of all the transitions and all the effects and and just, just stringing everything together. And, and my favorite part was the guy on the switcher. So as we were filming this puzzle, by the way, we were on the front page of Twitch. Yeah. And I had no idea what to expect from there. I was thinking thousand two thousand people we got up to eighteen and a half thousand people watching live which was nuts that's fucking crazy man it was really crazy and chat was going pretty crazy that's so. more than i get on a youtube video normally yeah it's it's the most uh i've ever had on a live stream for sure like on any platform at all and you guys like because you had them set up before so you guys could practice being like hey top down what, yep. if, I, what if i call it this yep call it my handheld or whatever exactly yeah, it we, was smooth when you're watching it it felt like you guys knew like, we were gonna go with a gopro at first and then we ended up doing it with the handheld and uh the guy was on the ball, like they do that professionally. So they're watching not only for cues, like they got one guy watching me for cues who signals the other guy, but not only that, they'll watch the flow. Like if I'm going somewhere, they'll just go, yeah, and they'll just follow along and they'll just do that. And yeah, they it was good. They were racking in. I thought it was yeah. great. It was way more enjoyable for me than watching your regular YouTube content because I don't watch it. Yeah, ever. and it, and it felt live, right? <laughs> yeah, it was it was really good that way because it did feel live. And, and it was shot in like sixty or thirty frames, so it felt a little bit like Spanish uh, soap opera. Uh, but it gives it that more live feel. But we had no choice because it, it was Twitch, and the frame rate would have would have gotten you some weird visual things. I don't think it was shot in sixty. I would have noticed uh, 30. that. It was in thirty. Yeah, for 30. Sure, yeah. So just a little off. Yeah. Yep. Okay. And it looked a little flatter too, color wise. Yeah, that's normal. There wasn't any LUTs or anything, so okay. we just like it's just live. We could have put LUTs, but because I'm color grading it too. Afterwards, oh, for then it YouTube. Would that. It would, and for a live, it feels perfect. Didn't matter. Yeah. And as if I'm being picky, I still shoot shit like I don't even know what I'm doing. Yeah. So. I, I'm such a high like I expected this other content other people make and yeah. I'm giving out fucking yeah. I'm hilarious gi- I'm giving out blowjobs in a bed like <laughs> <laughs> uh, I like that we're not going to reference where that's from <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck yeah I mean yeah. I don't know I, I'm proud of you man I thanks buddy <coughs> I'm joking <coughs> oh my god I uh I didn't know what to expect either <coughs> oh my god <coughs> Sorry. Yeah. Um, but anyways, uh, I would love to do some of these uh, questions for everybody because you guys have asked so many and I keep losing them yep. in the in the fucking uh, Instagram and all that shit. So I finally put it on YouTube and I'm like, this is way better. It's all in one f- yeah. thing. I'm like, why didn't I think of this? Yeah. Community tabs? Yeah. Community- I love community so tabs. So good. Dude, like, 
if I put up like a picture or something, I'll get like 50 likes in community tabs. If I put up a poll, yeah. 3,000 people will answer it. Yeah. And I'm like, this is so accurate. Yeah. Like, what a great sample polls, side. Polls are like, insane. Bop, 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 bop. I'm like, oh, yeah. man, now I know. I had like 72,000 votes on a poll once, and I was like, this went in front of 72,000 people at least? I'm like, I had no That's idea. That's crazy. It blows my mind that you put this in front of that many people. It really feels like it goes out to like everyone, and some people yeah. go for it. It's crazy. Yeah. I'm afraid to be like, what do you want me to do? Make more videos. Quit YouTube. Like, for that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really afraid to send it out there. You know, I don't want to... I don't want to do it. All right. Let's get to a question, though, because why not? Why not, Chris? Community. 33 questions. Let's go. I'll answer a couple of these bad boys for sure. Check my time. Oh, well, this one we sort of answered earlier. Any updates on working with other YouTubers? Uh, Chris mentioned before maybe uh, working with Babish. I think it'd be awesome. Mm -hmm. Blah, blah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I mean... We sort of answered that. We're good people coming out. I don't know why this guy's referencing Babish. He must have made a comment about it at some point. Yeah, because I said it was going to help him out with his sort of uh, uh, thing. I haven't really reached back out to him just because yeah. I've been busy, but hopefully that works out. Yeah. I dig that. Uh, that'd be really, I mean, anything would be cool. I'm sick of talking to you. I am. Okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, I hear you. What? <laughs> a little honesty. never heard anybody. Yeah. I was that was being the most honest I could, but sounding as mo as much fake West as I possibly could right there. <laughs> uh, uh, some of these aren't very good. <laughs> you guys aren't good at asking questions. Yeah. <laughs> What's that about? Uh, oh, do you have a super cringe story from high school? Oh yeah. If, if, if so, please share. By, so many. By Squidman. Probably so many. Yeah, cringe from high school. Oh, I broke a girl's nose once, and I felt fucking bad, dude. Uh. I'm not a good dancer. <laughs> That's where this story starts and ends. I, I already know where this is going. Yeah, wow. <laughs> so we're on the dance floor, and I'm dancing with this girl named Carly. Uh, beautiful. Says, oh, man, I'm so into her. And I'm like, I don't know. The song said, put your hands up. So I had my hands up. Yeah. Right? And then when I brought my hand down. Came down on Carly's bridge, right eh? Right on her. And I look over and just. Gushing. Yeah. <sighs> I mean. In middle of the dance floor. Uh, yeah. It's, she wore her beautiful dress. Yeah. It does. It's not a good look. It's not a good look. Rough. And then how I handle it is not, there's no graceful way out of that. Yeah. I was more embarrassed than anything, right? I'm just like, get your blood off me, woman. No, I didn't do that. <laughs> but uh, it was it was bad. I, I still think about it like, uh, it just feels bad. I am um, in economics class. It must have been grade 10 or 11. Uh, for lunch, I had this giant sub. You know, you can go down to the. You can go down to the. Uh, Sorry, if it starts with lunch. I'm happy. Yeah, <laughs> you can go down to the. Like we used to go down to the grocery store or whatever, and like buy these subs that were like three feet long. You yeah. can buy them at the grocery store type thing. Yeah, and we'd buy one of those, and I killed a whole one during lunch hour. I don't know if it was this or what I had the night before. Uh, really bad stomach ache. I'm like, may I be excused? I go to the bathroom, and I'm in the bathroom. Uh, shitting my life out. <laughs> it gets to the point, I shit so much that the shit had touched my ass. <laughs> ah, yikes. It was that full. Gross. It was unbelievably full. And solid, apparently. And so, uh, and this this was like this, after like the second time I flushed. Like, it was nuts. <laughs> and so I try flushing it and it doesn't flush and it starts overflowing. Oh, Fuck. And uh, I still have to shit. <laughs> like, bad. It's not something I can hold in. Do you switch stalls? No. Nope. <laughs> nope. And there was people coming in and out. I remember somebody coming in and being like, anybody in here? Who's in here? fucking smells? And I was like, hey, man. And uh, I remember a person from my class came in and being like, Chris, are you in here? And I'm like, yeah, still shitting. Because it must have been 20, 30 minutes. And 20, 30 minutes shitting on your own time whatever it's the greatest it's not it's a breeze it's yeah whatever but you got the pressure to be like i gotta get back i was yeah. really 20 30 minutes shitting at work when they don't notice that's uh a nine to five and this is pre-phone <laughs> it is pre-phone so it has all yeah. your focus exactly the whole time. <laughs> this is 20 30 minutes it looks like i'm skipping because it's what i would have done in this class right so it looks like i'm skipping yeah. <laughs> and so they're all coming in and check up on me because the teacher thinks i'm fucking you know skipping out on class uh, and i'm trying to convince people that i'm shitting my life out <laughs> as they're coming in the door and asking me and now i'm shitting and the water's rising because i had to flush uh, because there was too much shit under me 
and uh, I had to, and the, the, so now the water's accumulating under me. It's getting my feet wet, but I still have to shit, and I'm shitting in water. Uh, and uh, uh, yeah, eventually I just like held it, changed stalls. There's a big mess. I walked out, went back to class, and never looked back. So I don't know what happened. Somebody uh, had to clean it up for sure. But as a kid, it's not going to be me. No, I'm at school. Oh Fuck my. school. You know, when you're a teenager, you're yeah. like you can clean up my shit. Yeah, that's what they did. <laughs> and that was that was a uh, that was a rough story for me. Holy fuck. Yeah, it was the worst in, in all my life. Like, I've had some pretty bad dumps in my day. Yeah, that's a bad one. I don't and have anything that rivals that. That one, I've never clogged a toilet while shitting and then shitting in the clogged toilet while it's oh. rising. And it was just... The, imagine the panic. Yeah. I'm in high school. Yeah. Everything's embarrassing. And I'm panicking. The water's rising. The shit is rising. I start to shit. Yeah, you're it's, fucked. Yeah, yeah. And people are coming in talking to me. I'm like, yeah, sorry. And I'm trying to make things up. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, it's uh, about a minute. Buddy, I would have been like, my mom died. I have to go home. <laughs> like, yeah. I would have said anything yeah. to get out of there. But you're fucked. Yeah. We, in my school, we had, a, we had a phantom shitter in my school. Uh, like that's what we called him because he would he would go take a and leave a coil in the in the one of the sinks ah uh, and they were really trying to figure out who it was and I, I think it was Tyler Brooks shout out to Tyler Brooks I thought it was the funniest shit in the whole well, <laughs> I thought it was the funniest thing in the whole fucking world honestly it was so funny to me uh, because they didn't know but I just kept <laughs> imagining like he has to execute this at some yep. point. At any time, someone could walk in and he's hover exit yep. <laughs> over top of the fucking sink. And I'm like, who has the gall to yeah. do that? I would be like, there's no way. There's no way I would. I'm like, okay, this only take like 10 and, seconds. And for what? Like for a what? laugh? For, for an, an anonymous laugh. An anonymous an laugh. An anonymous laugh. Like that's someone going deep you can't, for comedy. Yeah, you can't laugh too hard. No. That's like going <laughs> deep for comedy. Yeah, we had that happen in basketball practice. Somebody shit in the garbage. <laughs> And the coach what? is like, no one's leaving until uh, whoever, and no one fessed up. We were there for three hours after school, and finally he let us go. We still don't know who that shitter was, too. It was him. He has some weird fetish. The <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Yeah, I mean, hey. I was, he was a weird coach, though, because he, uh, he was normally the girls' coach. Yeah. But he was all, like, too friendly, too BFF with the girls all the time. Yeah. And he was, like, a grown man. Yeah. And I remember that, and he resented the boys. A lot because he got like I guess like the whole I don't know competitive nature rubbed off on him and and uh, I remember one day me and this coach and I was arguably the best player on the team uh, it was because this was like lower league this was before I went to play at a higher level where I wasn't the best on the team yeah uh, so I never went to that level I just did yes yeah, so I was cocky yeah and just you know whatever and he's like fucking one v one me then during practice right and I'm like yeah okay. How old is this guy at the time, you think? Ten, uh, at the ten, time, 10 years old than you? Probably, no, more than that. Probably in early 30s. Okay, it's 15 years on you. Probably. Yeah. And stocky, maybe 5'10". Tall then. Uh, yeah, so tall. <laughs> and this kind of player, like the the one who slaps the ball. Yeah. You know, the <laughs> yeah, just, hard dribbler. Hard dribbler just, uses his body. <laughs> yep. And I so know, he's so trying he to use his body and stuff. Get some room? Yeah. Oh, yeah. fuck. And like, oh and like, my God. like grabs the ball, turns around like super like, yeah. Using oh, elbows I know exactly and shit. this fucking yeah, yeah, guy. Yeah, exactly. Big meathead, you know, just oh, trying to. Oh shit! And uh, I'm sitting here, style, stylish and graceful, going around him, shooting threes, and yeah, I whoop his ass. <laughs> and uh, it's probably the worst, uh, worst choice I made, because, you know, we do tournaments and everything, and I'd be raking up points. I, I did. I played a game once. I had sixty points. Jesus sixty points fuck. in a high school game. That's insane. Which is nuts. And and my my like one of my best buddies who played ball with me, he had like thirty. So it was like we raked it up to like hundred and five the score, right? It was nuts. Holy but shit. But we were just, you know, having a great time. And they gave my buddy the MVP. He gave my buddy the MVP of the game. And I was I was like, You motherfucker. Ooh. And uh, yeah, he always had a grudge because I kicked his ass. Yeah, right in front of everybody. Uh, but now's my chance to call him a creep because I, I'm pretty sure he's creeping on this girl's fucking weirdo. Yeah, and he probably doesn't have a bigger podcast than us, so you're pretty much safe. Yeah. Throwing that. Yeah, I mean It'd be worse if you're like he he didn't coach the girls, he was just their equipment manager. I don't yeah. know why. Yeah. He's just in the room just Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's a scary weirdo. Weirdo. Yeah. I'm gonna just And I wouldn't as an adult, you know, I wouldn't uh it was as a kid I realized it. Just watching my coach with the girls and stuff, being too like too like touchy. Yeah. It just rubs me the wrong way. Yeah. Kinda like he did. Yeah, I, I remember I had a teacher one time. It's just a little things that I didn't realize till years later. Yeah. My friend was walking up the stairs in her, in a skirt and she's talking to her other friend and uh, she's like, is this skirt too short? Yeah. To her friend. 
And this other teacher who's like in early 40s at this point, he like ducks down at the bottom of the stairs and he goes, no, I think you're fine. And I was like, eh. Hey, bad move. Don't do that move. Don't do that. Like, even at the time, I was like, I was like, I was like walking the rest of the day. I was like, that was weird. And then it was like a couple years later, I was like, that was fucking weird. Yeah. Like extra. And he, he's got to know. Like she's 16. Yeah. You're a teacher. Like what the fuck's happening right now? Yeah. And that's why I can never be a teacher. There's a lot of hotties. <laughs> <laughs> Well, depends. This is a comedy podcast for anyone who needs a reminder. Yeah, university. Yeah, university, mm-hmm. different story. University, for sure. There's a lot of controversy, though. With, uh, and uh, well, You know what I'm seeing a lot more of, actually, is fucking women teachers. Yeah, they fucking, can be teachers, too. Fucking, <laughs> fucking younger like, guys. Yeah, get students. this. She's a lady. Yeah. No, but Teaching. Fucking, fucking uh, boys. Yeah, yeah. I know. You see that a more lot of that. that. There's yeah. a lot of oh, that. Yeah. And they're getting arrested for it. And uh, I know, yeah. I know, like a lot of podcasts talked about it too, because it's it's kind of funny. Yeah, but that power dynamic can um, be real, man. I think in it, that way, it can be real. Be definitely weird. can be real. But also, sixteen year old me is like, that's all I've ever fantasized about. Yeah. Some of my teachers, like you're you're in the height of your, uh, you know, your prime of like your sexual prime, and you're and you're fucking just you're like you you just want to you know masturbate twenty times a day. It's you're, you're coming into yourself. Yeah. You know, not physically, but <laughs> yeah, yeah, but also a little, but bit. also a little bit, uh, and so yeah, like that that fantasy has crossed every yeah. every kid's mind, every teenage boy's mind. Oh yeah, uh, is you know just knock them out with a teacher, if you know yeah. if, if the fantasy has crossed your mind, you know, like yeah. boy, like, and so to for that, I'm picturing me at 15, yeah, you know, uh, 16, where I'm starting to fantasize about these things. Mm-hmm. I'm picturing, fuck, if that would have happened to me, I. I wouldn't have known what to do. That's the other thing. I'm like, I'm first like, of all, good, kudos to those kids because I would have been honestly. <laughs> I think I would have scared me the most is I would have been. I would have felt so out of my fucking league. Yeah, exactly. And I think that would have traumatized me. I yeah. think I would be complaining to the authorities yeah. because of how I felt. But that's that. the uh, that's <laughs> the kind like, of I don't know how to. That's do That's the kind of double standard though because yeah. is it right? It is predatorial. Yeah, for sure. Uh, but also like it is different. Yeah, it is different than uh, than yeah. guys and girls. There is a difference. But that, it, it doesn't make it right. But there is a difference. That's why I like that we sort of have. Uh, there's an age limit we have there across the board, yeah. and we also have a uh, a you can't uh, with someone that you're direct uh, subordinate or whatever. Like there's a bunch of rules they have in place, and I like them because it's more an HR rule. Yeah, but I like that these rules all exist. Yeah, just because. Within that, if we dissect this, uh. there's a lot of gray where I'm like, yeah, he was 16, she was 34, but it, I, I'm sure I can find scenarios where I'm like, that's fine, yeah. right? But because we have to like take them case by case, I'm, like, yeah. I'm glad there's just a rule being like, let's just say no. Yeah. Fuck all your gray area and like, yeah. this one's not so bad. Yeah. I'm like glad. It's just like, you know what? Because cause, yeah, there's some of them, I'm like, yeah, this is probably fine for that guy. Yeah. Right, but yeah. yeah, yeah, the guy's not traumatized, but his parents found out and now the teacher's getting sued or yeah. going to, you know, like that's... But there is a double standard there. There is yeah, a little bit of a double for standard sure. for sure. Like, uh, oh, another thing happened. So how this remind you whatever you about to talk to you about is going to really blow my no, mind. No, it's talking about double standards. Oh, okay. Um. So yeah. So oh, fuck my. Uh, my so also. there was a and and this 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 gets into like the touchy you know zeitgeisty sure stuff that's going on. But there was a a transgender athlete who fought in an MMA match. Sure. And uh, so sh- uh, she used to be, she used to be, she was born a boy. Yeah. Um, and now a woman and uh, was allowed to compete in women's MMA. Yeah. Completely slayed the opponent. Yeah. Dominated. Yeah. And so what was, because there's, there's another, there's another uh, transgender woman in weightlifting in the Olympics. Yeah, and, uh, and, and she, she didn't actually she, win. She, she did very well. No, I, she didn't I do very well. And that's the part of me that I was like, oh, yeah. maybe this is okay. Do you know what I mean? Because yeah. I'm like, you can compete on like a level because it, it gets it gets to a point where you have to ask yourself like, what are the laws here? What are the rules yeah. and and whatever? So uh, you know, they obviously figured it out yeah. a- enough for her to compete. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, let's see how this goes. Yeah. And had she destroyed everybody, mm-hmm. for sure there'd be some people up in arms. Yeah. But the fact that she didn't kind of make me feel like. Oh, this is okay. Yeah, I, I was I was very surprised and yeah. delighted. And I was like, yeah, I was delighted too because like, I'm oh. like, oh, there's no issue. Yeah, I'm glad that there's no issue. Yeah, but when it comes to fighting and combat fighting, sports, it, it changes it immediately. So Fight, fighting changes it right away. So that's like that's where I started asking myself like, what is the number of opponents one has to decimate? Yeah, for 
people to start being like, maybe this isn't right. Like well, any, maybe we have to make a uh, uh, another category, yeah, or something because it, you have, and, and I know it sucks to even say that, but the the reality no, no. is, the reality is like women. A lot of people, not just women, but a lot of people fought for this to happen. Yes. Fought for equal rights, trans rights, yeah. uh, in everything, across the board. Yeah. And fighting just so happens to be one of those things. Yeah. And now, so, okay, we're cool with it. It's cool. They fight. One person gets fucking annihilated. Yeah. The other person is victorious. Okay, cool. Yeah. At what point are every single weight class going to be dominated by transgender people in this case, if this is the case. Yeah. Like you might have the top two fighters of every weight class be transgender women. Yeah. Um the, there's there has to be a point so, where where the women fighting feel it's unfair. I feel like in I'm just projecting in the future. No, I'm not saying for now. I, I know and but I'm, in like ten years from now I'm like where does that I and I I think leave like women competing in the sport. When you're and not to say that they're not a woman, but like not yeah. transgender women just it, it's it's weird because like in like a if you were like actually gonna uh, have this like in a formal debate, you wouldn't be allowed to make that kind of conclusion where you say eventually it might be all of them because until that happens, like you, you know, right, you, right. You know, but You're right. but I feel bad because every win that person ever has will be attributed to this thing. That's true, right? But but part of me goes like there are certain things that discount you from competing in certain sports. Yeah, like if you're three foot tall, um, you don't get to play in the NBA. Yeah, and and you're like, well, why? This person was born seven feet tall, and they can just put the ball in the hoop like that. Like that's not fair, or whatever, right? Yeah. But no, no. I'm just saying, like, you're born in different bodies. Yeah, but it's and different. It sucks. It's different. But th- it's more like saying, if you're nine feet tall, you wouldn't be allowed in the NBA. Then it wouldn't make sense because you'd be dunking on everybody. Yeah. I, well, it's I, like yeah. transgender people aren't at a disadvantage going into MMA. They're at an advantage. No, but what I'm saying is, is sometimes you're born with whatever thing. Yeah. And unfortunately. That means you don't get to compete in said sport. Yeah. So I'm saying, if but you're, then if it you're, isn't. Then it isn't equal rights, and that's where the that's where the whole argument comes along. Where it's like it's equal across the board, or it isn't, right? And I, and I agree with that. I agree with that statement to being yeah. like equal is equal. Yeah. Period. There's no if and or buts about it. If yeah. you're equal, we're equal. And if you're equal, you get to do combat sports. Yeah. And we have nothing to say, and that's cool. Yeah. And I'm I'm okay with that if that's what we're doing. I have no problem with any of that, and I encourage. Yeah. I think fuck yeah for everyone. I'm just I'm just trying to put myself in uh, competitors' shoes down the line. Right now, it's all fine, but down the line, at one point, you got to be like, "This is a little unfair." And I'm not saying that they yeah. will dominate the sport, but I'm saying so far, what we're seeing is this. So yeah. I'm just I'm just projecting well, no, hypotheticals. I, I, but I, I really do. I, I guess I'm not making my, my point very clear. I I personally really do think that, unfortunately, no. and you can't you can be equal across society in every way, mm-hmm. right? And I will treat you. But there you, are some I, things I, where, I, it's, I, yeah. but some things you just unfortunately, you, you maybe you don't get to do these things. Yeah. Just, but luck of the draw, the way or unluck of the draw. Yeah. Just like. But there's no way of saying that. You no, know, there is no way of saying that without without people uh, r- hearing but, that badly. But yeah. like, I'm like, hey, I, I don't know certain things you just don't get to do. But what's who decides that line then? You know, and then it's it becomes a game of like, yeah. like weightlifting. My guess would have been she would have kicked everyone's ass. Me too. She didn't. Yeah. So I, and I'm down for that. Like, I'm yeah. down, exactly. So what's the line? Because there might be another transgender uh, woman that comes in and does crush everybody in weightlifting. Yeah. Now you know what I mean. And you know, I guess wh- the one thing I'll say is, is what you said earlier is, and this is it. This is my final opinion on it. Because what you have to do mm. is you have to ask the other athletes because mm. they're the only ones that, whose opinion matters. Of course, but at what that's point do they start saying no? Well, that's what I mean. Let's find out if they do say right. no. And if they do say no, Here's an then address thought. it because it has nothing to do with us. We should be like, what yeah. do you guys want to do? You Absolutely. fucking vote. Because I, me trying to sit yeah. from an outsider, I'm like, yeah, no, fuck, I, I, I know. I agree with that. But the other side of the coin is that we will never be as men faced with this specific problem. Definitely not. No way are you going to put a woman in a male's combat sport as a transgender man mm. And uh, and and compete with heavyweights and stuff like that because just right. and, and maybe on some level maybe on some level I'm I'm totally wrong here maybe on some level absolutely there are some women out there but I'm you I'm can saying, probably get into the featherweights and get some pretty fucking violent right but even then you're you're uh, male top competing athletes yeah versus transgender male top competing athletes you're still 
biologically held to you have, certain... yeah less less years of testosterone in you and exactly all that. like all, all all of the reasons whatever Joe Rogan said <laughs> yeah whatever Joe... <laughs> uh, yeah. but yeah it's just uh, it's it's, yeah. it's a non it's not an issue yet and I don't see it becoming ever mm. a discussion yeah just uh just because of the nature of you know biology yeah uh but it's interesting that uh women have to um yeah go I, through all this yeah i i do transgender women included like yeah. all women yeah yeah because every time i hear about those fucking uh those um trans radical exclusion the turfs whatever they're called yeah. right i'm always like uh fuck you guys yeah they're like these women that like don't acknowledge trans women as women. I'm like, okay. yeah. I'm like, get, get over that. You yeah, fucking over weirdos. That. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, then you go all the way to the other side, and I'm like, yeah, I don't, I don't want to see, I don't want to see anything bad happen in yeah. combat sports. Yeah, I got to stay right out of it because I just don't know. It's not me. It's that's not, it's not for me. That's just it right there, and that's the, uh, that's the whole thing where I'm, I'm, I think I'm much like you on this, and I think most people nowadays are. Yeah, we're just like. Do whatever the fuck it makes you happy. Yeah, as long as you're not an asshole. Yeah, of course. We're good. Yeah. yeah, you you know you can you can do anything you want. You be anyone you want. Be anything you yeah. want. You want me to call you something? You want me to? Yeah. Okay, I'll call you. Yeah. Let me know, and I'll say the thing. Yeah. And then everyone's happy, and then we're happy. Yeah. And then I'm good. And but you know, it, it's it, there are a lot of people out there that are uh, what that is are, the that saying? Take it way too personally. What's the saying? Um, don't tell me when to come. Just tell me where to come. Yeah. Is that the saying? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Dave Chappelle. No, that's what it is. That's right. Thank you. Yeah, I like that. I'm glad we talk about real shit on Bob sometimes because I've, I've 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 thought of this many times. And it's you know what, like even speaking about it on a podcast, like Wes and I are probably visibly a little uncomfortable talking about stuff like this because with reason, uh, because in in today's society, oh, we know we, you can clip any part of this. Yeah, and you can clip like, any Whoa. part of it. And in today's society, with yeah. You know, we know that we don't have a massive following here on Bob. It's yeah. it's a strong following. Oh, the mightiest. But it's not the biggest. And yeah. we know that. Um, so it's maybe a little bit easier for us to... Yeah. But there are people like Rogan out there and, and, and just countless others who are talking Schultz. about real... Yeah, Schultz. Uh, but Theo also Vaughan. But also real people like... Um, uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson? Like, no. Like, <laughs> there's people like Ben Shapiro and... and uh, What's Buddy's name? The Canadian guy. You quickly looking for someone left wing all of a sudden now. <laughs> what's, what's the other guy's name? Sam Harris. What are you talking about? No, the Canadian guy that always speaks like this, and he believes that. Uh, I I think that that's a regular thing that you have going on, and come on. Is that a Jordan Peterson reference? Yeah, Jordan Peterson. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's not how he sounds. Yeah. That well, is your worst impression you've ever done. It is not my worst impression. <laughs> I'll have you know. That it's it's kind of right. Yeah. Anyways, so yeah, those guys are tackling real subjects with a massive audience, eh? Yeah, and and, and it's again, like we're we're uncomfortable talking about it on our little podcast, and that's know. just what the world is right now. It's fucking. And even those guys, I listen to them, and I see them misstep all the time, and I go, I'm like, did you think that all the way through? Or I think maybe you're not the one who talked about it because we just named like so many white dudes mm. and talking about a subject that we we're just talking about. I'm like, you're not included, man. Yep. Stay the fuck out of this one. Like, just ask the people. Who yeah. it affects, yeah. and let them tell you. That's true. And then you go, okay, yep. okay. That makes and sense. That's all you can do, and that's like the best route to take. I think we should take that more in general, but yeah. people just do not. We like love that. bitching. We, we love, love to be like we love ah, da, 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 da. bitching and, and yeah, and theorizing and, and thinking. If the barrel isn't for anything good, it's just for us complaining about shit. A hundred percent. Oh, I'm I'm down. Never stray. Yeah. I'm glad you brought this up. Never stray away from these topics. I'm down. Yeah. It's just so funny. Like some of them, I'm like hmm, I don't know. It's interesting. And sometimes depends who you're talking to. <laughs> Yeah. What do you mean? Like, if you're talking to Eric? Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Eric Claria, leave him out of it. Because Eric's <laughs> never thought about any topic at ever. That's right. You and I both. His probably, first thought will come out of his mouth. He's like, he's like, he's like oh, yeah. You won't even know what you're talking about. Yeah. He'll just start speaking. So, yeah. no, yeah. You know, you and I have Eric sure is Michael that. Scott, IRL. Eric LeClaire, our, our fucking homie, is Michael Scott in real life. He, um, I'll give you an example. We were hanging out in New Year's, small party. Uh, we were here actually at the office, small party, and we were going around a circle and kind of, uh, now at this point, it's after midnight, we're all pretty drunk and high, like everybody's- I don't, I don't think I was drinking that night. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, we were pretty drunk and high. And You just saw a UFO or something. Yeah, we all go around in a circle saying <laughs> what we're thankful for. <laughs> that was so good. And this is the best Michael Scott, Eric LeClaire moment I've 
uh, put you know ever seen. And he goes, and it's Eric's turn, and everybody was all serious. We had nothing prepared. It was sort of uh, Emma who, who sparked it off, and Emma already had a speech prepared. So we're all feel, you know, we're all feeling kind of like. Uh, like, oh, she was inadequate. ready. For, she was ready for this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we're like, okay, well, fuck. Here we go. She unfolded a piece of paper from her breast pocket. Yeah, and Eric's <laughs> like, um, in in the most serious. <laughs> and Emma's already voice. mentioned him and hers. Yeah, She's and like, get get a shot ready for me. Yeah, I know. It's and he goes, I'm thankful for COVID <laughs> because it allowed me to learn Final Cut. <laughs> <laughs> And it was the fucking most honest thing he's ever said in his life. And he said it without cracking a smile. No, he meant it. He meant it sincerely. Like if it wasn't for COVID, I wouldn't have learned Final Cut. And I'm and this is January. Yeah. The height of <laughs> the pandemic. Scary. We were actually like, we shouldn't all be together. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're it's like very rocky weird, times yeah. and people dying in countless numbers. <laughs> and he's like, Well, thank you goodness they died so that i could learn final cut i f- i lost my shit and i laughed so hard he's like why are you laughing he was so insulted and I, I, I tried to explain to him uh, this is what you said listen verbatim and like that but also right before that emma was like i'm thankful uh that i've got to you know be living in ottawa dur- during this crazy time and get closer with eric if, like, we're stronger now than ever like yeah. all of this lovey-dovey romantic yeah, yeah. stuff that you would probably say because it's probably huge yeah <laughs> there's eric just I'm thankful for shots of whiskey so I could learn Final Cut. Yep. Oh man, so good. I laughed, and that was if you watch The Office, exactly something Michael Scott would have said at said meeting. Have you ever watched the, the uh, British Office? Yep. I've never tried it. Uh, I like Ricky Gervais. Think I would try it maybe. It's a different office. Yeah, I've heard that. It's a different office, but what threw me off is that I watched the American Office first, mm. and then the British Office. So the first episode is is the same shot for shot. Oh, same everything. That's cool. Well, they just like replicated. They took that script yeah. and made The Office. And so when you watch it, you're like, it's uncomfortable. Right. Because you're like- You feel like oh, you're watching someone cheat. I feel like these are imposters, but they're the OGs. Yeah. Watching them, watching uh, Ricky Gervais. Like, I feel like, oh, he's trying too hard to be like Michael Scott. And I'm like, no, that's oh. backwards, you know? Well, that's like most people when they hear you make jokes, they're like, ah, oh, I stole that from Wes. Yeah. And most people are like, who's Wes? <laughs> oh, I like these mugs. I drink faster. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Should we do another question? Yeah. Fuck yeah. That was a great question. Squid Man, you let us down a rabbit hole of many beautiful things there. Yes, sir. Um, Jungle Man. You guys got great names. Squid Man, Jungle Man. Are we forming an A-team? No What's relation. No relation. <laughs> are we fucking forming a crew? What? They all sound like <laughs> NFTs. <laughs> One of these ones looks like it. With a fucking weird avatar. What is your favorite drink in the world to get to the bottom of? Oh. Are we talking straight drink? Well, it le- leaves it ambiguous. I mean, old-fashioned mezcal. Yeah. If we're going to talk about like cocktail style, yeah. I will take... Yeah, I'll take just a double of whatever scotch you got back there. Neat. Mm. That is my all-time favorite reliable fucking yep can't go wrong that journey yeah yep. it's good right. in every situation like that um do, 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 do. <laughs> how much of an inspiration is joe rogan to bob and when are you gonna start bringing on guests other than eric and alex uh joe rogan is of no consequence to bob we both have listened to joe rogan yeah and i do still based on the guest yeah. i kind of choose um, I, I feel like he, he's on a different level. We don't, I don't, well, this is a different vibe. I, it's a different vibe, but there's Joe Rogan's influence every podcast. Yeah, there's a better way to say it. I'm like, yeah. okay, he's not, I don't think about him, but I heard someone say he is like, cause there's one woman on TikTok when she's like, that's way better way to say it. Who the fuck's Joe Rogan? She's like, well, why the fuck and, and fucking Joe Rogan and all this? And one guy's like, let me break it down. You remember Oprah? <laughs> When Oprah would say shit, all of the women on the Western Hemisphere yeah. would say, Hemisphere? Yeah. Yeah. Would say, um, fucking Oprah read this book. Right. Oprah said that. Oprah. He is our Oprah. He is single handedly yeah. changing minds of yeah. most men in the Western world. So he is our Oprah. But and this is shout out to my uh, my comedian friend uh, Shane Clark in Vancouver. 
he put on his Facebook the other day. He's like, which group of friends do you hate more? The ones that despise everything Joe Rogan's ever said or done or the ones that fucking quote him Don't and trade it? Yeah. yeah. And I'm like, yeah, man. Both those groups drive me nuts. Yep. Because I'm like, yeah, okay. Yeah. You can't negate somebody with that kind of influence. And you, and please don't suck his dick all the yeah. time. I love Joe Rogan's energy. Yeah, his I love great. what he's done. And I love yeah. that he's a... He, I, regardless of how you feel about his views, and I don't agree with everything he says, no. but I love that he doesn't give a fuck. I love that he doesn't give a fuck. He and says what he, he means he, or what he wants. And, and he did what he wanted, and he yeah. made a bag. Yeah. Like fat fucking stack. So you know what? Yeah. Hats off to that guy. Yeah, man, you want to go... Run around and kill elk in the yeah, fucking and, woods. Go and, for it. And who else is gonna fucking smoke a joint with Elon Musk on camera? That's and it. you know, like the the That's amount of it. guests he's had is we're gonna look back and yeah, you know. And this is not me sucking his dick. This is fucking facts. In 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 fifty hundred years from now, you're gonna look back in history books. Yeah, in textbooks at school. Yeah, and they're gonna refer to Joe Rogan podcast just because of the amount of people he's had on there that are influential. That's the my stories they have. And that's that's just it. He gets the he's best guests. My number one check when I go to open my podcast, and want to listen to something. Yeah. He's my number one check just because I know he could literally have anybody on. And then he, he gets, could be talking gets, to the fucking queen yeah, yeah. if you want to. And then he gets a fucking the guy who does mushrooms. The guy, yeah, who, yeah. Who, the guy who uh, fucking studies mushrooms and fungi. Yeah. And I'm like, I love this shit. Yeah. I had no idea. So uh, yeah, you know. it got me interested in stuff I didn't even know I yeah. liked. So yeah, I guess some yeah. shit he's got on and like yeah. he had Neil deGrasse Tyson. I watched 30 minutes of yeah. that reluctantly yeah. and I was like, I can't stand this. Yeah. Never want to watch this again. Did you hear Mr. Beast telling Logan Paul about the time he almost died in a car? Did you listen to Logan? Yeah. It, it, they were listening to the Joe Rogan podcast with Blaine Yeah, and they put the needle <laughs> put yeah. his through his arm and his body just passes out in the seat or whatever. Yeah. And like, that's fucked up. Sorry, I just remind me of Rogan. Funny, uh, to ever tell you, I was in Vid Summit two years ago this week. Like, uh, Vid Summit is happening. I was supposed to go, actually. But a lot of YouTubers there. I met a lot of real dope YouTubers. And uh, I hung out with uh, Jimmy, Mr. Beast. Mm-hmm. Um, this is like the second time we've hung out because of the video I did with him. And we were just kind of chatting. We were outside. And he goes, Oh, hey, uh, do you know this magician, David Glenn? <laughs> and I go, <laughs> And I go, now I'm thinking obscure British magician. Yeah, exactly. Right? Yeah. Like it sounds like someone at Blackpool yeah. at the Magic oh, Convention. David Glenn. David Glenn. David oh. Glenn's performing cups and balls and yeah. today, you know? Yeah. And I'm like, David Glenn, David Glenn. And I'm trying to think. And I'm like, David Blaine? And he's like, yeah, that's him. And I'm like, what was your question? <laughs> and he goes, is he, is he, is he good? Holy what what did, What did he do? And he I, invented I, the cure so, for magic cancer. So I, I <laughs> couldn't answer him immediately. Because your brain doesn't work. Because I was trying to formulate what he meant to the magic world and, and, and what he's achieved in terms of his you know feats of fucking yeah. stunts and stuff, right? So He's Harry fucking Houdini, man. Yeah, so I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm trying to think, right? And I'm like... Well, he's he's uh, he, uh, he, caught, he caught a bullet in his face like a real bullet. He uh, he had frozen for like three days. Stood on a pole for like t- two days. Was None starved, of these sound starved, good. <laughs> starved himself for forty days. He they was, all sound bad. And I'm just like and naming these things after things after things. He electrocuted a million volts. There was and and he and once caught me, a, a salmon in the me, desert. And I went. He's you. He's like you, <laughs> except a magician. Oh, that's good. And lo and behold, a couple weeks after. Mr. Beast buried alive video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know what I mean? And yeah. surviving and without this and without that. So I'd like to believe in some universe David Blaine's inspired Mr. Beast, although Mr. Beast had no idea who David Blaine was. Yeah, but I mean he said that's who he hit up for the David the buried alive advice. Yeah. Yep. So I mean, yeah. And so that's what a world, man. It's a it's a wild world to know that someone didn't know who David Blaine was. Yeah. Um, which is apparently very yeah. normal. Yeah. Yeah, that that's why I can't wrap my head around. Even like Mr. Beast, fucking seventy million, hundred million fucking subs. I don't know what he's at. PewDiePie. I literally have friends my age that I can mention Mr. Beast or PewDiePie. They have no idea what I'm talking about. They, just wow. don't, they literally don't know what I'm talking about. People like comedians, just regular folk, regular folk. But I'm like, how? Because if you're in the entertainment world, it would boggle my mind no, if you haven't heard the word for, Mr. for Beast sure. In the entertainment PewDiePie. world, no. But like regular people regular have folk, yeah. They have no reason. They have their fucking phones. Wouldn't you see a clip? Yeah, they have no things? reason. They have no reason to know who he is. But I guess well, regular folk watch TV, so that's how they know David Blaine. That's that's true. Fuck. Yeah. And 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 Mr. Beast doesn't watch TV, so that's how he doesn't know who David Blaine is. Because David Blaine was all yeah. TV man. No, you're true. 
I'm true. You're right. I want to say that's true, and you're right. So <laughs> yeah. you're true. Yeah. You're true, bro. Yeah. That's right. Oh, my God. I feel like an idiot for the first time in my life. Um, do, 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 no good answer there. David Blinds. David Blinds. I, uh... Ooh. What's the lowest point of your life, and how did you pull yourself up? Did you have help? That's deep, man. Lowest point of your life, and how'd you put? I don't want to get into that. Yeah, it's like that's a vibe killer. I mean, ask for help if you can. That's all I can say. If yep. you need it, ask for it. Um, I don't have any. I've, I, I've. I'm not. I don't have a great story. I'm not one of those people that's been like I was this, and now I'm like. No, I had a shitty story. I yeah. mean, I've I've been way down. Yeah. But there was no miracle cure. Yeah, you said I moved in next door to you. Right. It's been sunshine ever since. <laughs> yeah, you told exactly. me that. Yeah, sorry, man. Please ask for help. I don't know. Uh, this guy's like, no question, but a few things I'd love to hear discussed. <laughs> okay. More aliens, always welcome. Yes. Dental stories. Okay. I'm a dentist. Crazy stuff daily happens. And then also uh, triathlons and Ironmans, if you've ever wanted to do one, blah, blah, blah. Okay. But that's no to the last question. Yeah, um, dental stories. I have so many. <laughs> yeah, obviously. Fuck, I have so many. Of those Wes ones. has had his fucking face drilled in with teeth multiple times. Sometimes. He, his teeth will live on forever in his grave. So actually, one that I was thinking about the other day for dental was um, I was watching a movie, uh, or a show. I don't remember what I was watching. I watched something on TV, and you know, murder show. Yeah. And the victim had all her teeth pulled out. Right. And and the guy and the detective's like, "How hard is that to do?" And the guy's like. It's pretty fucking hard, or whatever, right? Yeah. And this tooth here, um, I cracked it by biting that olive. The one came right off. Yeah. The other one, when I bit into it, this olive, uh, it cracked it. But in there, the guy's like, we have to pull it out all the way and then give you an implant or whatever. Yeah. I'm like, okay. And he is a big fucking guy. He's he your, like, your height, and like he's even like you know he, yeah. he, all of two twenty, two thirty, yeah. right? And he is leaning on my chest with his yeah. arm and pulling and i remember just being like and your mouth is frozen yeah so i remember being like i hope he's got the right tooth that's all i could <laughs> like oh yeah is, I don't, is it here is it here you know i was so scared i'm like hur, hur. and dude I, and he's like eh, and he's reefing up yeah, and down and you're going like and this. i'm like maybe it's fine then if yeah. it's just hard to pull out maybe it's fine i was so scared and finally it's, it came out and dude the smell that hit oh, bro because i that one was already had a crown on it huh. and it was done on the cheap in Mexico. Yeah. Uh, so maybe it wasn't done so good. Yeah, like a dead rat back there. There was something back there. A bur- cucaracha yeah, a little, sitting up in yeah, your Yeah, a little, a little cucaracha sitting up there. So the smell was just like, toosh, bro. It was, it I was guess bad. dentists have to smell a lot of fucking bad breath. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Then I had to go and ask every chick I've ever made out with, like, did I have bad breath before? Yeah. And the list was so short. Kristen <laughs> was like, no. Uh, yeah, do you uh, want to keep doing these? I like them. Yeah. Do, you have, do you have a dentist story? Uh... I mean, I Did had. Did you have braces ever? No, I had thirteen cavities. Um, yeah. at, in one. Oh no, I do have a dentist story. <laughs> okay, might have told us before. I don't think I have, but I might have. Okay, all right. Dental we, story. Yeah, we had a quick battery break. <laughs> yeah. Um, dental story. So check this out. I'm sixteen, seventeen. Taking shrooms maybe twice in my life, and great, great times on either. Uh, one of them was at the, uh, well, at the talent show at the end of the year in high school, and it was, were you in the talent show? No, no, no. Oh, but it was a trip. Out. It was a trip. Yeah. Uh, but this time, I'm at my friend's house, and it's end of the year, so we got the afternoon off, and I'm like, cool. I go to my friend's house, and this is my friend who does drugs, uh, and we just all go to his house, right? Because you've it, known Eric that long. <laughs> <laughs> no, so this guy, um, his, his, I was living on a military base, and this guy's parents were both military and both deployed to like Afghanistan or Iraq or something, probably Iraq at the time or Sarajevo or something anyways. So they're both gone. So this guy's got the house alone six months to himself. So fuck off. Yeah. Party house all Who the time. Who does that? Yeah. So we go to this guy's place and, you know, uh, we get some poutine, throw some shrooms on it. We're looking to have a good night, right? Just some teenagers having fun. I love this. Uh, the second I'm done my poutine, um, I had uh, what did I, I think a heart attack? No, I was trying to think if I had a pager, but that was later. I had a, I had a phone. I remember I had a phone. It was a it was like a pay per cell phone, like one of those razors. Yeah. Uh, and uh, my mom uh, calls me and she's like, 
you have a dentist appointment tonight. And I'm like, I can't, I can't go. I can't, I really can't make it. She's like, Chris, you've put this shit off for, you haven't, you haven't been to the dentist in like two years. Oh my God. You're going to the dentist. I'm like, mom, I really can't go to the dentist tonight. I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to go to the dentist. (laughs) I don't want to, I don't want to go. 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 Did you know you were getting cavities or what was it? It was just Uh, regular clean. No, it was, it was uh, cavities. Uh, uh, 13. Fuck, that's the yeah. okay. Um, So, it, I can't say no. My mom's like, I'm on my way. Like, I know where you are. I'm picking you up. And I know my dad's around too, so he's not going to stand for it if I say no. And yeah. I'm I'm just not that type of guy. I'm not, I wasn't a delinquent. Like, I would listen to my parents. And sure. I was like, okay. Get in the car. Feeling fine. Uh, oh drive to the dentist. God. Maybe a 20-minute drive. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> uh, sit in the lobby. Yeah, got to get in. Everything's minutes. cool. It, it was, coincidentally, it was the first time I smelled like BO. Oh. Like body odor. Because I had basketball practice during the day that day or something. I was playing basketball. Oh, weird. And I had no deodorant. I never wore deodorant yet. It was like 16. I was a late bloomer. Oh, okay. And so I was like, what smells like fucking ham and onions? Oh. And it, it was me, right? And I was like, oh, shit. So anyways, coincidentally. Oh, crazy. Yeah, yeah. That sucks. Get into the, get into the dentist's uh, office in the chair. And I'm in the chair, and needles go in. I'm still feeling all right. And now they're going in. And I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm laying down, looking up at the light. There's this big rectangular light. And in the middle of the light is a sticker of a cartoon tooth, <laughs> smiling, holding a toothbrush, right? And I guess it's for children to stare at, <laughs> oddly enough. <laughs> yeah, definitely not made for people <laughs> on shrooms to stare at. So, oh, you told me about it. Did this tooth have teeth? <laughs> <laughs> this, to- this tooth had teeth. And this is, I'm here for hours, man. <laughs> this is my whole trip now. This is my life now. Oh, I'm going to die here. The tooth was the the amount of adventures I went on <laughs> with this little tooth is uh, I couldn't count. There were countless. I we he at first like the tooth is just there, and then all of a sudden uh, the dentist is talking to me, but it's the tooth. The tooth's oh. mouth is moving, oh right? So the tooth is sitting there like this and going, and just just lightly mouthing what the dentist is saying and now i can't tell the difference now the tooth is my dentist all right (laughs) so this point this is my reality the dentist is uh the tooth and he's explained to me what he's gonna do and he's doing everything he's asking me questions and i'm responding to the dentist i'm responding to this cartoon tooth as if i'm having a conversation with it when was the last time you floss this and that? And he's like, when was the last time? And the tooth is judging me and I'm feeling like shit. Uh, and then it's funny because when he started going in, the tooth starts taking out different little tools because it's so small that your brain just makes up what you're seeing at this point because sure. it's so tiny. If it was bigger, you wouldn't have these kind of hallucinations. But because it was so small, everything was kind of like subjective, what you're looking at. Yeah. And so, yeah, it was this little drill and everything and <laughs> doing things. And he'd start running and he was like laughing at one point. And he was like talking. And it was the weirdest shit, man. It was the most, ter- it was, ter- there, there was, it was, ter- it would have been terrifying without the tooth, I think. Yeah. I think the cartoon that tooth. Might have, that might have honed you in. It, 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 it was like I had a friend here. And oh. I had I had like an escape, and I was like, "Me and you, man, we're in this together." You know what I mean? Oh, me and that, uh, yeah. me and that cartoon sticker tooth, we were locked in, and we're like, "You're here for me, bro." And he became like it was an adventure, it was a journey, and that was, yeah. I don't wish that. I could just imagine him looking at me, my eyes the size of almonds, like just yeah. dilated, like you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> Dude, I wondered if that tooth really had teeth, or if he was just had like a, a smile. I wonder oh, if you, teeth. I, no, I wonder if you like if you put those teeth in yourself. Oh, maybe. But a tooth having teeth is too funny. To I'll tell it. you, I don't remember half. A tooth smiling with teeth is just fucked. I don't remember probably eighty percent. That's amazing. Of uh, it's probably traumatizing. I, I, <laughs> our, our our dentist friend who put this question up. Uh, where where are you here, man? Glenn Glenn Rudolph. <laughs> yeah. 
put a little tooth sticker in for your your customers or, or patients around mushrooms. This brought back a whole lot of a whole lot of bad tripping. Oh my god, that is fucking ugh. no. I've never done that. Yeah, I went I went down the rabbit hole with this tooth. Me and him, like fucking Rick and Morty, baby. We were like <laughs> <laughs> bound to the hip. Me and this guy, two peas in a pod. Like we were in. We were brothers for life. Oh fuck. Yeah, I had to. It was like a survival mechanism. I think my brain was going through. It's like okay, we need to cope somehow. So here's what we got. <laughs> Okay, you don't like it? Well, don't take shrooms when you're going to the fucking dentist, idiot. Uh, Jesus. I blame, I blame your mom for not telling you sooner. I, I should have told my mom I was on shrooms. Yeah. She had no in, idea. In she had no idea I was experimenting with drugs at that age, so yeah. w- wasn't the time yeah. you know, to break it to her. But yeah, that's fair. Eventually did. Yeah. <laughs> not at the dentist. No, oh. I don't even think she knows about that story. Oh, I should tell her. She would love to hear it, I'm sure. Well, she has no idea what shrooms are. Uh, What? Like, I mean, she knows what shrooms are, but, like, she doesn't understand the depth at which you get high and, and the crazy, mm. you know, f- euphoric hallucinations you... I think you have to make her tea one day. Yeah. Find yeah. her over. Yeah. Make her tea. I'm not going to drug my mom with. I am. Th- I'm an idea man. <laughs> I'm throwing out ideas. <laughs> so, like, I did I did what you said the other day. I drugged my mom. <laughs> well, when you put it that crudely, it doesn't sound well. <laughs> For sure. Yeah, okay. I gave her drugs to her knowing. It hits the ear roughly. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I can understand why that. <laughs> it's her will. Yeah. 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 Okay. Those are dentist well, stories. What was the other yeah. question? Was the first one, the top one? Oh, he's, he's just saying, always welcoming more alien stories. Oh, right. So, yeah, fair, fair. Us too. Yep. Don't worry. I'm I, And I say this a lot. Like, I spend so much time looking up. Yeah. Every day. Yeah. Every chance I get where I'm like, I'm not doing anything, I go, and I give it like a good 20 seconds because I'm like, a 20 second window is a good window for something to happen. Yeah. You know, just glancing up, you're not going to see shit. So I got to give it some time. Yeah. And I think doing that daily, every day you're of my bound, life, you're bound to get it. I'm up in my odds. That's that's what I'm doing. Yeah. So. For sure. All right. I like that. Just if, and if everyone who told three friends did that, we'd see an alien. We, yeah. We would find some first Bob accounts, first hand Bob accounts. First hand Bob accounts. But also, give yours, you're on your phone. Give your little neck a break. You know, look yeah, up. That's right. Feels good. It's, look up. it's uh, ergonomically correct, and you might see an alien. Yeah, so. it's good for your soul. It's winning for sure. <laughs> uh, you want any more questions? Yeah. Okay, I'm liking these a lot. It's fun. You guys have. Uh, I started off by saying these are terrible. They're not. They're really good. Uh, if you could have a two hour conversation with anyone on Earth, who'd you choose and why? Mm. Two hour combo with anyone on Earth. That's sort of a real... Uh, Joe Rogan. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would. It would yeah, help my career. Just for the views. Yeah. <laughs> 100%. <Yeah. laughs> Hang on. Is it being recorded? Are we going to upload? Yeah, yeah. I have so many questions. Are you going to shout me out? Um, uh, no, that's good. There's so, uh, so many people. Yeah. I think. Yeah. Okay. Um, let's dive into that question. Real talk. Let's go. Are there any language barriers? Uh, I'm going to say no. You magically have perfect understanding, each of you. Is that, it's a babel fish. Babel fish, yep. Yeah. Exactly. You put a babel, babel fish, fish in your, in your ear, ear. Pop it in your ear. You're set. Any one of those around here some no. days. Just like that. <laughs> that's how they, in the Hitchhiker's Guide, that's how they proved the existence of God. Therefore, right. making him vanish in a puff of logic. It's beautiful. Yeah. Fuck. I said if, uh, if, if proof denies faith, right? If you look for proof, you deny it. it yeah. Proof denies faith. But without faith, and without faith, God is nothing. So finding the proof of God would then make him disappear. Was the logic in the Hitchhiker's Guide? Oh, so I proof, like proof denies faith. Yeah. Right. Because if you're looking for proof, you have no faith. And without faith, God is nothing. So if you find proof, I mean, God yeah. disappears in a puff of logic, and that's kind that's, of how they spun it. Man, the writing in that is fucking so good. So good. Fuck, I'm so glad you turned me on to that. What's the okay? So uh, one per who who would you? Um. You can change your mind later. Who would you right now? Yeah, okay. That's fair. Change your mind later is a good, good uh, caveat. Um, Nikola Tesla has got to be a top I, I think we're doing living. Me. We're doing living. Only living. Uh, on Earth, yeah. Oh. Any language, but on Earth. Nikola Tesla's dead body. <laughs> Hello, sir. Yeah, a lot more stimulating than a lot of conversations <laughs> I've had with people. Yeah. Um, uh, okay, live. Yeah, it's hard to live because you have these like iconic uh yeah i also feel like everyone's an idiot nowadays yeah like with like the internet and cell phones and everything and like we're all a bit dumber i feel mm. like no one's as yeah i'm trying to think of like who makes me laugh the hardest mm-hmm. like as weirdly as i'm not saying it's attainable but like 
on the level of like attainability, it's much closer than a lot of things I could say. But like, I would probably really enjoy. I'd probably laugh a lot in a two-hour conversation with like an Andrew Schultz or Theo Vaughn. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like as weird as like yeah, but of all the people. No, but like, what am I looking for in these two hours? Like, are, if it, just have a good time. Revelations, maybe. Eh, what am I gonna have revelations about? I mean, you know, Bob Bigelow. Yeah, the yeah, guy who bought Skinwalker Ranch back in the day. That's true. Um, could be something like that. Yeah, it, it's because I've I've seen all the great people in the world on Joe Rogan. <laughs> So it's like, yeah. and now I'm trying to picture myself talking to them. Would that try- be interesting? That's what I'm trying yeah. to do too. And it's yeah, not really saying. helping. Like it's, it's, I'm going like, that's what I'm saying. Like nowadays, like, yeah, I, might I know just, everything. I might just go so. for jokes at some point. Might go for jokes. It's a really tricky question. Yeah. Uh, okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's coming in. I'm honing in on something here. It's coming by. It's flying around. It's landing on me. I would take a two hour conversation with. Billy Crystal. Interesting. Sold. Billy Crystal will have all beat. of the best stories. Who are you going to go with? Bill Murray. You did beat me there. <laughs> you did beat me there. Yeah. He's got all the best stories. He does all the best stories. <laughs> all the best stories are about Bill Murray. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, but those are the two. Just go funny. Go go like iconic as old as you can, but yeah. still have their wits about them. Have you ever seen that documentary about the people who've met Bill Murray? No, but I believe every word of it. After this, Bob... We should watch that. Can we pop it on here and just watch it? Buddy, I have nowhere to be. Thank you. We're doing this. This is the greatest night ever. All right. Oh, man. We're going to get to the bottom of this. Yeah. Let's so go. I'm not going to spoil it for you, but Bill Murray's a fucking legend. Oh, and... you fucking spoiled it, man. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine the end screens. Like, turns out he's turns a out legend. A legend. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, oh, fuck. He's a real legend? <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit. Shit. Oh, man. Yeah, I love all these stories. Didn't all the anecdotes coming. I hear. Yeah. He eating people's fries. It's, it's, paying for shit it goes deeper up. than that. Oh, I, I, oh, I know. I mean, and, and, uh, don't spoil it for me. Yeah, there's countless. <laughs> no, there's you can count them. He's a, uh, he's like um, he's like an entity of joy and randomness. He's the only rich person who's done it right. Just do whatever you want to do, whatever makes you happy, did, whatever makes you fucking. Did you know that he? Um, you know, for that movie we talked about earlier, uh, Lost in Translation. Yeah. Uh, didn't agree. Did did I tell you this? I might have told you this on Bob. What? Uh, he was, he was. Uh, so the person, the lady who made, who wrote the script, had wrote it for him. Mm. You can't contact him. Yeah, he's got the voicemail. He's got a he's yeah. got a one eight hundred number. Yeah, you got to leave a message. Yeah. And she wrote the script, wrote him into the movie, in Japan without ever hearing from him. That's great. Production, everything, and he showed up. It's fucking and he did the movie so dope yeah my favorite thing <laughs> like, a lot of that stuff the, i'm not joking that kind of shit is the literal only reason i would ever want to get super famous yeah my my ri- story my rise to like mediocre fame is inevitable it'll happen no problem but like but to it's super pending to super stardom yeah fuck right off that's the only reason yeah that's all i like just for that Oh my god! Let's do a couple more, and we'll call it. Yeah, absolutely. Because I, I'm having fun, but also now I want to watch this thing. Same. Uh, you guys should go watch it when we. Uh, yeah. I'll find the name, uh, Wes. You can leave it in the link in the description. Yeah. You got it. All right. Um. Maybe, actually, one of the Bob viewers. Maybe you guys have a Bill Murray story. Oh man! If you ha- if you do, you're please. sitting on gold. Please, you're sitting on gold. It's it's every comedian's dream to have a story about. You know, Bill Murray or Kanye West. You know, some weird D word story like they had that was fucking when they're eating uh, banana pudding, watching ass porn. You ever see that? D word, buddy from D word. No. Hangs out with Kanye West at his place and he was like, it was so weird. He like turns on the TV and he's like, just fucking ass porn. And they're just watching it and the guy's like, what are you doing? He's like, hey. He's like, Kim's about to make some banana pudding. You want to get some? I'm like, sure. They eat some banana pudding while watching Wait, this shit. I guess I, I don't know who, is this a South African guy? Yeah. Okay, that did watch this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so I, get, I get him and that and that dude from Chappie mixed up. Same guy. That's why, I, <laughs> yeah. that explains Same that. Same guy twice. <laughs> that yeah. explains that. Yeah. Dude, that is the single greatest story and the most understanding you'll ever have of Kanye West in your life. Yep. Um. Yeah, I, nothing else here. I mean, they're all about BT. Do you listen to uh, Donda? 
like the the chant part of the whole ep- or whole <laughs> the album. chant part's funny. Yeah, listen to that. Also, that, apparently, it's his. Apparently, it's his. Uh, apparently, allegedly, it's his mother's dying heartbeat. Donda, 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 yeah. Donda, and it was like, and then at the end, there's like a dove or whatever. So it's like it's it's at her actual heartbeat that that's why he's. It, it follows her heartbeat as she was dying, and then she's dead at the end of the chant. So, which is kind of like, well, oh, he, that's he probably should have told us that. Well, the thing he's he's a he's a fucking artist. He really is an artist. Like I don't care what anyone says. He yeah, he's off his meds, but the guy obviously thinks laterally about yeah. things, and it's gotten him where he is today. He doesn't think like the rest of us do, and that may come with some complications like bipolarism or s- sure. some other you know uh, mental illness. However, the shit he creates is a lot of his genius. A lot of it is uh, f- shapes pop culture. Hell, I'm wearing his fucking shoes right now. Yeah. And I'm not a big Kanye well, West fan, but he's impacted our culture, you know, well, it, everybody's culture. I mean, and for sure it is, because I have right here, I meant to bring it up earlier, but like, for sure it comes with, with complications, because they have a a nine-year-old girl right now with, uh, not him, but like, uh, there's a nine-year-old girl right now who is, has a IQ of 162. I saw that. Higher than uh, Hawking, Stephen Hawking. Higher than Einstein. Einstein. Right. And she's Asperger's as fuck, yeah. obviously. Yeah. A, a genius comes with complications. They manifest in different ways. His artistic genius. Yeah, she's in university to, already. Yeah. She, oh, yeah. She's got her working on her second university degree at Se- nine. At nine. Yeah. Okay, cool. Me too. <laughs> and I, I remember reading that article and her parents were super humble about it and they were like, yeah, yeah. she could read really fast at the age of two. And, and I'm like, there's a big leap here from reading fast at the age of two to getting two university degrees by the age of nine. I'm like, how exponential is this person's learning? Is her head well, getting like, physically th- bigger? That, that's, the, that's the thing where it's like, n- neither one of us has ever met a genius. Because Insane. when you meet one, yeah. it, apparently it's very obvious. Yeah. And dude, that's not even fucking Da Vinci was like 180. Wow. Da Vinci was developing helicopters fucking 600 years before there was helicopters. Wow. Like crazy. I went to a Da Vinci thing at a museum one time and it was just Buddy, just drawing after drawing of shit that was like from the fucking future, but yeah. like incorrect in weird ways, but yeah. perfect in other ways. It was yeah. bizarre, dude. That's like yeah, it's like Nikola Tesla. Yeah, oh, he was Nikola drawing Tesla, he was sure. drawing fucking coal engines or whatever in 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 the uh, combustion engines in the sand before even seeing one. What in the Serbia fuck? when he was like sixteen or seventeen? Just thinking like, oh, this might work. Yeah, he's like, oh yeah. Yeah, he Fuck. yeah he's got you know thousands maybe thousands of patents you know like the uh, like those guys do. There's it, it's so inspiring to think that we are all born with the same tools. We are all born with the same tools. Pretty I've much, I've seen your naked. Mine's a solid inch longer than yours. <laughs> pretty much entirely born with the same tools in terms of yeah. what's in our uh, bodies, right? Yeah, our DNA, and some people have access to those tools in a way that we don't that yeah. you and I don't right they have they have access to the same tools that we have and that's just such a mind-boggling thing because you look at someone like that and you're like he is a genius but the reality is that we are all geniuses he, he just somehow is able to access the part of our brains that we have no access to well the, yes and I- I, I totally agree with that because I, and then I take that and I go like he also has no access to certain things because then you go like hey man why are you bad at parties buddy I would you know trade I mean? being bad at parties oh I know I know but I'm saying it's weird that he also has or whoever he they yeah. whoever we're talking about also has no access to the parts that we can utilize you, easily enough do you think they, it has something to do with evolution where like because obviously the dream is to have both yeah, the dream I, is to have that limitless pill. Oh, buddy, I, I, I mean that. I guess is the right. Dream. Is to be a genius everywhere, but then you're like also a sociopath and you kill people or something. I kind right? of like my level of intelligence. The same, but but you you look at that like, and we're thinking about humanity and everything else. Like we could use more of these people. Oh yeah, for right? sure. Like to to further advance, like put them in a lab, make them tell us things. Yeah, yeah, or just or just just you know take over the world for us, please. Yeah. <laughs> Um, We're trying to make them call it AI. Like, yeah. let them go. Let's get yeah. the purest version. So, no, I, I, we, the world could use it. We need. It. We have a lot of problems need solving. So, yes, those people would be great. Yeah, and I don't want to be one though. Honestly. Well, well, the thing is, is like that's the trade off, right? Is that you said that they are hyper genius, but then lack, you know, basic social skills. Uh, so they're also, you know, very, if not equally as dumb as we are with science and, and all the ing- engineering and everything yeah. else and all this that they're interested in. Like we're equally as dumb. They're equally as dumb in social situations. 
Yeah. So they're okay, but clearly this isn't your strong suit. Um, yeah. It's like how does a genius fuck? That's what I want to know. Well, well, so I'm, I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Well, that's the that's the thing it, it, where it becomes an evolution thing. Yeah. Because if we were all geniuses with no ability to socialize, there would be less of us. Yeah. Yes. We'd yes. fuck less. Well, you know, and maybe maybe that's why there are more meatheads than geniuses right now because for a long time in history, meatheads were rewarded more mm-hmm. than geniuses. Maybe that's why we have fewer geniuses because of evolution selected right. for less geniuses. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So it's like we're wow. not we're not made to have those unless those genes start mating like crazy. Yeah. Is what we need. We need all the nerds to just start fucking. Because Elon's only got one kid. <laughs> Used all the letters of the alphabet, but only one kid. Yeah, only one kid. Yeah. Interesting. Yes. Okay. Yeah. I'm down for that. Elon's kid is going to have uh, some social. I heard something. he sent him to boarding school in space right away when he gets old enough. Send him to boarding school in space. I have one more fact I want to tell you that I just remembered I had on my phone. Yes, please. And then we we're going to wrap up this bob because it's been a fucking beautiful bob. God damn, I love this. Yeah. Um, a two thousand year old human human torso of an Irish man was found in a bog back in June of two thousand and three. The remains were naturally mummified, mummified, sorry, and preserved so well that scientists were able to tell what they had last meal after analyzing the contents of the stomach. Blah blah. Wheat and buttermilk. Um. He he was shown to have a meat rich diet, but this is the crazy thing. Um, they have because you'll see the picture. He's really easy to estimate his height because of his arm length and torso and everything. He was estimated to be six foot six inches tall, and that would be extremely tall for that time period. For a two thousand year old course. Irishman, yeah, it's fucking crazy. So yeah, they found that. It just it is actually mummified. Yeah, like Yo, legit. Clap that for sure. It's, it looks like a petrified banana. Yeah. But dude, imagine an Irishman being six, three inches taller than you two thousand yeah. years ago. That is not what runs through my brain. Like yeah. that is the fucking tallest leprechaun, dude. Want to know what runs through my brain? What's that? Fucking nephilims. I don't know. What you're Giants. Saying. Nephilims. Is Neph- that you ever heard of nephilims? Go no. down the rabbit hole, buddy. That the I mean, world used to have giants. They were basically the babies. Oh, is that why they're the giants' causeway and shit? They would. They, oh, they were the babies God. of the Anunnaki. Basically, the Anunnaki bred with humans and created oh, these giants because nice. the Anunnaki were even taller than that. Sorry, man. I'm a Scientologist. That's not what we believe. <laughs> you should go down that rabbit <laughs> it's hole. It's super awkward. And they, would, and they would enslave humanity for gold. What? Yeah, because they needed gold because gold actually helps protect you know, our satellites from radiation and everything else. So they were mining gold here because it's a very rare metal. Did you know that you can only get gold when two fucking, when, when you have, uh, what is it called? Uh, well, you got to tell me. It's a collision of two stars. What okay. is that called? I don't know. There's a name for it. Supernova, not supernova. Red um, dwarfs? What are you talking about? Brown, no. When, brown dwarf? When Super. two um, when two stars... Uh, check this out. How is gold made? This, this is a crazy fact. And all heavy metals. All very precious metals. Oh. Gold, like most heavy metals are forged inside stars through a process of nuclear fusion, okay? Um, And basically, here here is some debris of uh, dead stars, the Earth formed heavy elements. Uh, 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 Here's the Earth transported. They're supposed, it's it's when two stars collide. What is that called? Well, I think that's, you said it, it's fine. Yeah, but hold on, hold on. What? Is it called when two stars collide? Is that stellar collision? Okay, but neutron, two neutron stars. Okay, when they collide, uh, they so basically, and this fucking blew my mind too because I didn't know this. And this is this feels like basic shit that everyone should know. Yeah, absolutely. How are planets made? Yeah, it's weird, especially in gold too. Everyone's got a ring or necklace yeah. made of gold somewhere. How are how are planets from. made? Right, first thought is oh, it's a piece of rock. That kind of smoothed out like erosion over time. <clears throat> False, fucking wrong. Right? Yeah. It's Try made again. of dust yeah. and particles and, and radiation, gravity. and all this dust gets so dense. And with the rat radiation and everything else, now you're creating nuclear fusion, and that is how planets are made. It's fucking dope. Yeah. Moon, fucking rock. Yeah. Broke Planet off yeah. is gas and dust. particles and dust that is condensed. 
through billions of years yeah. to form a solid thing that has gold in it. A little black magic called the dark matter. Like yeah. That, that's that on there. So when two stars, boom, collide, you know, the sound effect there, when two stars yeah, <laughs> collide, um, sorry about that chat. Chat the chat. Yeah. I'm fucking having Three PTSD today, from today. Yeah. But yeah, that is how gold is made. And that's why it's so fucking rare. And that's why the Anunnaki is, yeah, you know. I was listening to a podcast the other day, uh, Ask Space Man, I mentioned it before, dope podcast. And the, he was talking about, he literally mentioned what you just mentioned about how gold's made, but I'd blanked it. Um, I only blanked on like they were watching one and he was like, yeah, and ended up with like, uh, gold that was like thirty times the weight of the sun or the the, the Earth. Wow. And he's like not like thirty times the, as much gold as the Earth. Like thirty times the weight of the Earth is just floating out yeah. there. You're like what? Yeah. When we start, that's why they're looking into mining meteorites. Makes sense. And they've been doing that for a while because there's a lot of money there. Yeah, for sure. You got these fucking literally like you could buy the world three times over what with what's floating up there. What fucking movie is that? Oh, there's a movie. Exactly. Armageddon. No, no, no. There's one where, like, mining meteorites. Oh, was that recent, I think, wasn't it? Yeah, maybe. Or maybe I'm thinking of fucking uh, uh, Avatar. Yeah, or Armageddon. No. Why am I getting trying to blow it up? I don't want to close my eyes. One of the greatest eyes. movies of all time. Don't want to tell three friends because I'm an idiot. <laughs> and that's enough And you tonight. don't want to miss a thing. Thanks for coming to Bob on the three-camera debut. Tell three friends, one for each camera. <laughs> That was pretty good. Good enough. That was good. Take it easy. See you guys.